Previously, we've learned what is moisture content and water activity and how both are measured. In addition, I'd like to point out that in determining the water activity, temperature and pressure must be constant. Water activity at 25 degrees Celsius will be different than that at 35 degrees Celsius. To further illustrate the difference between moisture content and water activity, let's have a little demonstration. So, we're gonna compare cheese in a commercially prepared bread. Now, how would you compare the water activity of cheese and bread? Would you expect the water activity of the cheese to be much lower than that of the bread? We would say, well, the cheese would have lower water activity. As such, cheese lasts longer than the bread. Bread can have a shelf life of 3 to 6 days, while cheese can take months. How about the moisture content? Do you think it's different? In this case, the moisture content of the cheese and bread are exactly the same. Although both have similar moisture content, the cheese has a relatively greater number of bound water molecules interacting with the components of the cheese. Simply put, when you calculate water activity, you're actually measuring the amount of unbound water that's available for microorganisms. 